Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a collaboration with my husband um, just because we're gonna focus a little bit on ramen and we're gonna do a few accoutrements for ramen, which is uh, the ajitama and chashu and how to make them. Um, I've been getting requests um, about ramen, how to do ramen. Um, I know it's a big thing right now. Request from my friend Leslie, shout out to you right there. And um, just let's see what we can do. Again, like I said, my husband is the ramen guy. I am not, so let's see how we do it. Help, I gotta do something right now. <laughs> okay, I'm back, crisis averted earlier. Um, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna, going to make the chashu meat. Um, we're going to cut some pork belly slabs or blocks, and then we're going to wrap that with string. Um, then we're going to uh, boil the slabs of pork belly um, in water with ginger and onion. And then we'll go on from there with marinating it and, and flavoring it and things like that. It's a long process. It takes quite a bit of time. Um, usually my husband will do it overnight and we'll wake up to this delicious food. Um, he doesn't want to be shown on camera, but don't worry, I'll be narrating and through pictures and maybe you'll just see my face and hearing sounds of cooking or yelling in the background, which is basically my life, right? <laughs> but stay tuned, we're gonna keep going in a few more minutes, so see you later. Okay, so these are the pork slabs. Um, my husband said add, only add a, a small bit of ginger because if you add too much, um, it'll overpower and be too gingery. Um, also, he uses the, the top portion of the green onion. So if you can see here, he just took it, took it off the, the rest of the green onion. And he boil, he's gonna boil the pork belly slabs for, how much are you gonna boil it for? Um, what will I do, 30 minutes? 30 minutes, okay. With just, like I said, green onion and ginger. And that's the pork belly going in. We'll let it boil for 30 minutes. Okay, this is, he said, is the, basically the right boiling point or temperature for the uh, chashu um, to be at for 30 minutes. Um, he also added about maybe one fourth a cup of sake to each, um, to each uh, pot um, because it tenderizes the meat. That's the reason why he's not adding soy sauce and the the, mer the other ingredients to this um, dish right now because he make it's a, he said it makes it harder. So this is basically getting rid of the smell of the pork meat, um, the ginger and the onion. Get rid of the smell, and that's why he said he doesn't close the lid either. He said the, the smell is escaping. Um, I'm just gonna go take his word for it. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I guess it could, it could be evaporating the, the smell, the, I guess, par, uh, juices or waters in the pork. Um, that's the only logic I can think of. Or maybe I'm just not translating his Japanese correctly. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what happened here was we boiled the chashu um, for the hour and a half that I said. Um, this pan right here had the chashu that is now in this pan. Um, what my husband added was two, um, two cups of the soy sauce, one cup of meeting, and one, one cup of sake, and one cup of water. And he said this uh, soup broth, which is the meat broth from the, from the cooked down meat, can be made into lots of different things like the ramen, uh, could be the ramen soup base. So he's going to be cooking it for another, not long time. 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes. There. Okay, so how you make ajitama? Use the soy sauce or shoyu broth right here that we did, we uh, marinated or uh, boiled the, the chashu in. And then you're going to take already hard boiled eggs and overnight, you're going to let them, overnight, <laughs> you're going to, I had to ask. Uh, overnight, you're gonna let them just uh, absorb the yummy broth and juices, and then you'll have, you have your delicious ajitama or flavored egg for your ramen broth. Ba-bum. 
Good morning, guys. So yesterday, um, what I did to make the ajitama, I boiled um, a couple, three eggs or four eggs or something, um, and then I put them in a plastic bag um, and let them marinate overnight. Um, here, I'll show you. I'll put it, I put it in the refrigerator. Um, you have to let it kind of marinate overnight um, so that it absorbs all those juices and turns into the ajitama. I also have um, a, a bowl of the um, soy sauce that we gathered from the chashu, um, and I put that in the refrigerator too, along with um, that uh, water that became delicious meat water after boiling um, the meat in it. Um, those two things we're going to use today to make the ramen soup, the shoyu based soup, which I'll do in a different video. To, um, today the video was just um, yesterday's video, which continued to today because it takes a whole, you have to do this overnight, you have to let those, um, let those two things kind of marinate and sit overnight in the refrigerator. Um, so um, what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna make the ramen video in the next video. What I want you to do right now is turn the, turn the video off, subscribe, and also check out my blog post and my Instagram. I put the, the information below, um, Jamaican Mama Yagi. Um, you can search that way. If you have Instagram, go ahead and please become my friend. Um, again, like I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, so you can get more updates and also see when that ramen video comes out. Um, and please, what I want, what I would hopefully like for you to do is write me a comment um, telling me what you are looking to make yourself, um, telling me what what was in interesting to you, what was not interesting to you. Please give me your opinions and feedback. Um, like I said before, I take um, I take uh, suggestions from my friends. Um, Vanessa, I've got your um, your two dishes, three dishes coming up next. She wanted a nikujaga, which I think I'm going to make later this week. Um, just give me give me some input and suggestions and and your requests for food. Um, I'd like to make this kind of interactive. So thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you um, with the ramen video. Bye.